Aloha, welcome to day number 31. All right, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's message from Pastor Nate, but I'm gonna take back over now. And I've actually reached out to several of my friends, so hopefully at least once a week, I'll be able to have a guest speaker just to kind of change it up because I know you guys have been listening to me a lot. You know, before I had a good friend, Pastor Chad, and then Pastor Nate. And so I'm trying to reach out, at least have a guest speaker different uh, each week so that you guys don't have to listen to me every single day. <laughs> All right, let's jump into a word of prayer and we'll jump into God's word, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you now. Just thank you so much for who you are and what you do for us. Thank you for being a wonderful, loving God. Thank you for being our Heavenly Father. Thank you for being our physician, our protector, our provider. Lord, we lift up our world right now being affected by the coronavirus we do ask specifically for protection on the island of oahu for us and our families our friends and uh, just pray that we would be able to reach that uh that downhill slope of the coronavirus dying out and that uh the young people would be able to go back to school uh would be able to go back to work um, lord i don't want us to return back to our normal lives uh, help us to return and we don't take things for granted. Help us to return and appreciate the people in our lives a little more. Appreciate your word and your relationship with us. And Lord, I ask that you speak through me this hour. Remove the devil and his distractions. And Lord, I pray that you would pierce the hearts of anyone watching this video. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Turn with me now to the book of Romans, chapter number one, shall we? Romans chapter number one. Romans chapter number one, verse number 16 says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Let's talk about that first part there, for I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not scared to speak up about it. I'm not embarrassed by it. Uh, I've lived in Hawaii for 10 years now, and there's things that I've noticed about Hawaii that I did not notice about other states that I've been to. I, I was born and raised in North Carolina. I uh, went to college in South Carolina. I've been to Tennessee. I've been to Virginia. Uh, I've been to California. I've been to New Mexico. I've been to a lot of the states. I haven't been to all 50 but I've been to a lot of the states, and Hawaii is very, very unique. And they're a very, very proud state. And I don't mean uh, prideful in the, the sinful way. I just mean they're very proud of their culture. And they're very proud of things that, uh, when I first got here, I found a little unusual just because we don't do this in North Carolina. For example, uh, Hawaii is known as the 808 state, right? 808 is your area code. It's our area code. It's mine on my cell phone. But when I lived in North Carolina, 910, that was my area code. But you know what I never saw? I never saw anyone with 910 on their hat. Never saw anyone with 910 on their shirt or bumper sticker or anything like that. But Hawaii is very unique as they are proud of their area code. Wahiwa, 96786, that's our zip code. When I grew up, growing up in North Carolina, the zip code was 27229. But you know, I never saw anyone with a bumper sticker. It said 27229, represent, or 27229 on a t-shirt or anything like that. But Wahiwa, Y and I, all these different places, you guys, are, we are all very proud of our zip codes. And it's interesting to me. And again, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm not bashing Hawaii. Uh, I love this place. But again, when I first moved here, I just thought, well, that's, that's pretty interesting. But they're very proud of that. They're very proud of everything around them. They're very proud of their culture, their family, their last name, football team, all these different things. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is if you talk to anyone that is either from Hawaii or lives in Hawaii, they are not ashamed to say they're from here or that they live here. They are proud of that fact. But unfortunately, there are things that Christians, we are ashamed of. And one of them, and that's why it's mentioned in Romans 1.16, it says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You know why it says that? It's because there are times in our life where we are ashamed of the gospel. 
We can talk about anything. We can talk about sports. We can talk about TV shows, movies. We can talk about video games. Uh, just all sorts of things. Our favorite color, even. And I've been doing getting to know you questions. What's your favorite food? What food don't you like as leftovers? And you guys have no problem texting me those answers. You know why? Because you're not ashamed of it. But when it comes to the gospel of Christ, when it comes to sharing God's word, when it comes to sharing about Jesus' love, for some odd reason, we get butterflies in our stomach, we get nervousness going up our spine, we become embarrassed, ashamed, and scared. And you know, one of the reasons that is, is because oftentimes we get nervous about things, about talking about things that we don't know about, right? For example, when I was in school, I would get really, really nervous when it came to history class, but specifically geography. I loved history class. I loved learning about the Civil War. I loved learning about more, more people than anything. Uh, I loved learning about Pearl Harbor and all these different things. I loved learning about that. But geography, if you put a map in front of me, whoo, I struggled big time. And if the teacher were to call me up and they show me a blank map, even of America, or a blank map of the world, and they said, find Arkansas, I would start sweating. I'd get butterflies in my stomach. I would become embarrassed and ashamed because I wouldn't know the answer. Guys, that's why we get embarrassed and ashamed of the gospel of Christ because we don't know Jesus well enough. Hey, it's great. It, it's the best thing in the world to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, but you can't stop there. You have to keep getting to know Jesus. That's how you become more confident. That's how you become more bold in sharing the gospel. That's how you no longer are ashamed is because you are confident in your answer and you are confident in your relationship with him. And it says there, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. So how do you feel today? If you have the opportunity to share the gospel, would you get really nervous? Would you get butterflies in the stomach, nervousness in your spine? Or you know Jesus so well because you've been reading the Bible, you have no problem sharing Romans 3.23, 5.8, Romans 6.23, Romans 10.13, or even just John 3.16. Hey, let me tell you how Jesus saved me, right? That's an awesome thing. That's your testimony, okay? I'm going to share another uh, person. Her name was Chiefess Kapiolani. I don't know how many of you, some of you may know the story already. I've, I've talked about her before. But Chiefess Kapiolani, years ago, uh, on the big island, she became a Christian as a result of missionaries going to the big island, and she accepted Jesus Christ as her personal Savior. And she realized that God is the one true God. Well, there was another God, lowercase g, that the people were worshiping, and her name was Pele. Okay, she was the god of volcanoes, and they were known as, or she was known as an angry goddess, and, and uh, something fire, and if you defied her, she was going to kill you, and all this kind of stuff. Well, Chief Escapulani knew we got to do something about this. Pele is not real, and so she grabbed her Bible, she grabbed a bunch of her people that she cared about, that she loved, anyone that would follow her, and she got as close to the volcano as she could get, and she read the Bible. Uh, there are some stories that say that she threw some berries in the volcano, and she stood there, and she read the Bible, and nothing happened to her. She wanted to prove to the people that Pele was not real. Now, I don't think, to my knowledge and to the story, not everybody accepted Christ that day, but a good chunk of the people did. They realized, wow, what Chief Escapiolani is saying is true. There is only one true God. She was not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And one of the reasons was is because she loved her people. Listen, you guys are uh, in your houses now with your family members. Are there any of them not saved? And you need to share the gospel with them. You love them share with them. We need to share with family, friends, and even complete strangers. You know, to show God is the one true God. She read the Bible close to the volcano with no 
consequences. So, how can you share the gospel today? It says there, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Main reason it puts that last part there, Jew first and also to the Greek, is just to show it is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you are Samoan, Filipino, uh, any kind of Asian, Howley, doesn't matter. Okay, God, The gospel is for everyone. Let the power of God, let the power of God's word do the speaking. So how can you share the gospel today? Make a flyer. Put it out in front of your house. Text someone. Make a phone call. Hey, if you've got sidewalk chalk and a sidewalk, go write the gospel out there. Do it old-fashioned way. Write and mail a letter or a card to someone. Okay? And let the gospel be the power. Don't forget those verses. The Romans Road or simply John 3.16. Are you ashamed of the gospel of Christ? And let me tell you something. We all, I'll say this real quick. Finish with this. I went through that, all right? There was a time in my life where I would get really scared to share the gospel. But what helped me conquer that is getting to know Jesus Christ by reading the Bible. Guys, if you are still scared to share the gospel, read the Bible. Get to know Christ. Read the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We already talked about his death, burial, and resurrection. Go back even further and read about his life, all right? All right, finishing up with some questions here. Number one. How are you going to share the gospel with someone today? I want to encourage you. Do it today. Text me. You're going to do it today. All right. How are you going to do it? Number two. What was the name of the false goddess of the volcano? What was her name? Number three. Do you have a favorite superhero? Who's your favorite superhero? And then number four. 1 Corinthians chapter number four, verse number two. What? is required of us. Read it carefully. All right, have a great day and spend time in God's Word.